Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to use Dante Audio Distribution within TriCaster Premium Access. Now Dante Audio is digital distribution of audio that lets you send and receive audio signals to any Dante enabled device on your network. Essentially it's the audio version of NDI. Now you can find out more information about Dante Audio at audinate.com. Now, to get this to work with TriCaster, you'll need two pieces of software. First, you will need to download a Dante Virtual Sound Card onto the TriCaster. This is a $30 application that will allow you to send and receive Dante Audio on your TriCaster. Now on a separate computer on your network, you will need to download the Dante Controller, which is free, and this allows you to route audio signals via their audio distribution matrix. For this example, we're going to use just the TriCaster and a Dante-enabled mixing board, but you can use any Dante device you have. So first, let me show you how to receive audio on the TriCaster TC1. So now on our TriCaster on the Windows side, we'll need to open up the Dante Virtual Sound Card that we've downloaded. And you'll see a couple different options here, and just to give you an idea of what to stick with, let's go ahead and we'll stick with WDM for the audio interface. Audio channels are set to 16 by 16 by default. Let's make sure that we keep this Dante latency as low as possible, so 4 milliseconds. And then also determine which uh, network interface you want to use. And in my situation, I'm using Ethernet 2. And from here, let's go ahead and click on Start. And now we are able to receive Dante audio. Now if we look over on my laptop here, I can see that my TriCaster TC1 has now shown up as a transmitter and a receiver for bringing in my Dante audio, 16 by 16 channels. Now, let's go ahead and fire up a session here. All right, now in order to send audio over to my TriCaster, I need to then route the audio from the Dante controller on my laptop here. So I'm just playing some uh, simple YouTube videos over here on my laptop. So what I want to do now is on the receiving end of my TriCaster TC1, let's go ahead and first off, let's transmit from the ThinkPad my left and right channels to match up with inputs 1 and 2 on my TC1. There we go. And now let's move over to our TriCaster TC1. And on the audio mixer, we'll go over into input number one. Let's click on the gear icon for that. And under the connection dropdown, instead of uh, leaving it as follow video source, let's select the dropdown for that. And we'll click on local. And now you'll see, in addition to the uh, SDI inputs and my Skype inputs, I now have different sources for my Dante audio. So let's go ahead and bring that in here. And now you'll see that I have some levels playing over here on uh, ones and two. Now, the cool thing about this is I can route this audio wherever I want it to. So let's go back to my laptop here and let's go ahead and we'll throw the same audio, the left and right of my ThinkPad over to inputs 15 and 16 of the TriCaster. All right, now let's go over to 15. We'll select 15 and 16. Bam, now that's coming in there as well. And I can move this all around wherever I need to. I can even go into any random input source and select that audio and bring that in wherever. So as you can see, it doesn't necessarily need to follow what's on the drop down on the uh, TriCaster, but just wherever you have it written, uh, or sorry, routed on your Dante audio matrix. All right, now let's take a look at how to turn the TriCaster into a transmitter for audio using Dante. What we'll need to do is first let's make sure that we're running some sound here. So I have a clip playing in my DDR1 and in my audio mixer what's cool about this is I can send these individual channels on TriCaster to route those out as a Dante source. So we'll click on the gear icon next to DDR1 and in our DDR settings under the routing tab at the very bottom of the screen here you'll see that we have Supplemental Output Device. And if I click on that drop down, you'll see all of the different 16 channels of Dante Audio that I can send out. So I'm going to go ahead and send DDR1 out on channels 1 and 2. 
and let's move over to our laptop to our Dante controller. And I'm going to expand my uh, Dante receiver here so that I can now route the transmitting channels one and two of my TriCaster output to the input channels of one and two on my laptop. Let those negotiate. There we go. And let me go back to my mixer here. And now you'll see that I have inputs one and two bringing in that same audio that I'm broadcasting on my TriCaster. So as you can see, Dante Audio Routing is a powerful way to distribute audio across your network and integrate it into your productions. Now, outputting individual audio channels via Dante is only available if you subscribe to Premium Access. But if you have a TriCaster with Advanced Edition software, you can still bring audio into the TriCaster via Dante Audio. Now, if you like this tutorial video but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration by yours truly and I'll just show you all the ins and outs of our TriCaster systems. Also, check out this video and others at youtube.com slash newtechinc for more new tech tutorial videos. Also, if you're on Instagram, feel free to tag us on any of your production posts at newtechinc. We love to see how people are using TriCasters and bringing their productions to life. Until then, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.